More than 40 million Americans are now expected to travel 50 miles or more from home over this Memorial Day holiday weekend. Many of those people will be flying. Karen Campbell joins us live on this Friday night from the Indianapolis International Airport. And we're expecting lots of people flying in town for the race or leaving town for a summer vacation. Karen, how long are the lines right now? Hey, Scott, you know, the lines getting through TSA, they say about 20 minutes, but just a matter of maybe 10 seconds ago, this line was stretching all the way down to the A gates. We had officers kind of shift the line over as to not block uh, the travelers who were coming in. So now the line is wrapped all the way around, almost uh, to the elevators out there. So even though the lines are long, you know what? This, this line through TSA is moving pretty quickly. Now, earlier, uh, you know, we were here. It was a different story. Just an hour ago, there weren't any any lines to get through. We want to show you some of the video that we shot. Uh, you know, many people were just simply having fun, dancing and listening to the live music as they waited for their flight. Now, according to AAA, this Memorial Day weekend could be the busiest at airports since 2005, and air travel is projected to exceed pre-pandemic levels. And now you're seeing all that pent up demand really expressing itself with this summer travel surge that we're seeing. Uh, and, and I think prices have risen pretty dramatically. But what we've seen is that has not really eroded the appetite for travel. People want to get out there. They want to travel and they're going to do it come heck or high water. And Indy's airport has added 23 flights just for race weekend. 22,000 passengers are expected to go through TSA lines on Memorial Day alone. Something many passengers coming back to Indy hope won't impact them. Maybe people are staying longer in Florida. We figure about the so, people are going to be leaving in yeah. Indianapolis, so, <laughs> so we're coming back. Hopefully that's the case. Now, Nancy and Skip Crop from Indy, they tell me they're visiting friends in Florida to get this lay by the pool and watch the Indy 500. So, you know, we know a lot of people are also hitting the roads, taking uh, buses and trains. That's also an increase of about 20% since last year. So if you come to the airport, expect delays. Now, experts say you want to have the uh, airport app on your phone so that in case anything happens, you can speak directly to someone if you need to change your flight. Scott, I'll send it in back to you. That's uh, good advice, and it sure looks busy out there on this Friday evening. Karen, thanks so much. And we've got some breaking news tonight out of Johnson County where a four-car...